When pop superstar Camila Cabello announced she would release a follow-up to her major successful debut album, Camila, it looked like the singer would without a doubt have a smash album on her hands. However, her sophomore set would not go on to see the success of her debut. Here are a few reasons the album may have underperformed. The debut of Normani. In August 2019, when her former group member Normani debuted her solo single, Motivation, she basically broke the internet. While it's common to pin artists against each other in sand culture, it is just that more easier to compare Camila to Normani because they got their stars together in Fifth Harmony. This caused many people to compare the two, in my opinion, and had a negative effect on how Camila was viewed and how her talent was viewed. Um, and I do genuinely believe that people thought of Normani as better and I just think it was just one of those situations where they were going to always be kind of pending to each other uh, not that it's right but I genuinely do think that in the social media landscape that a lot of tweets would, were going viral around this time that kind of showed that people were team Normani as opposed to being team Camila not a huge deal but definitely um, the public did not sway too much during Camila during this time killed momentum like many other artists, Camila had disappeared for a while to record romance. Um, and after coming off such a smash era, everybody was ready to see what she's going to come with next. In May 2019, she resurfaced with the collaboration Find You Again with English-American DJ Mark Watson. While the song was not technically the lead single of her forthcoming album, Innocent was hyped as her comeback single. The song did chart fairly decently around the world, but failed to chart in the U.S., a mere month later, she released Singerita, which would go on to become a hit, a number one hit at that. It topped the charts in over 40 countries worldwide. A few weeks after Singerita, she would release South of the Border with Ed Sheeran and rap star Cardi B. Again, not her song, but another collaboration. Really, another collaboration in the span of only two months. By the time September rolled around and she released her double E single, Shameless and Liar, I feel like both songs just did not receive the attention that they could have received because there were so many songs before it in such a short amount of time. So I feel like her comeback was kind of squandered with that. Um, I do believe that the double single rollout could have been playing a little bit better, maybe if they would have pushed the singles back a little bit. Um, but I genuinely think the false start and the not so great start of the era with Liar peaking at 52 on the Billboard Hot 100 and Shameless at 60, I definitely think that squandered um, the entire era. And I think that she sort of lost her footing because of that. The true nailness era's coffin was her racist past. Um, she had already addressed her racism earlier in her career. Um, and right around the time that the album came out in December 2019, um, a viral thread on Twitter came out with all of her past Tumblr posts, which were just super problematic and super offensive and super racist. Um, it's unfathomable that she would share these types of things. It's just, I can't believe it. But, I mean, all things considered, yeah. that's It just was bad timing for her. And racism is very hard to come back, especially in our conscious era that we're in right now. And honestly, I'm happy we're there. But um, she did apologize. She said, those mistakes don't represent the person I am or the person I've ever been. She said, I only stand and have ever said for love inclusivity and my heart has never, even then, had an ounce of hate or divisiveness. So again, this really killed her era and this really killed um, people's respect for her. And I really think it had a trickle effect on her career as a whole, because as you see now, when her name is brought up on San Twitter and other ways, maybe not in like the real real realm of life um they call her racist and i just genuinely think that's a really hard thing to escape all in all this album did not do as well as her debut album but it was still successful it still has over a billion streams on streaming platforms it also debuted top 10 in the billboard 200 and it still went on to go platinum so yeah that these are my reasons why I think that she definitely underperformed.